Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here today to review the QQQs. Why? Because the market had a very large move down today. Unexpected, because I thought the market would hold very quickly today. But my initial read on the gap in the market today, the market gap up, closed on Friday at 110.79, open today. This isn't a big gap up, but it, this still gapped up at 110.98. That's a daily chart. And I thought we would hold. We tried to hold. We tried to hold. My call for the market today was, I said, neutral slash bearish. As it turned out, it ended up being neutral slash bullish. Why? Because we fell all day and held into support and then rallied. And we closed very strong of the day. So tomorrow, I don't see anything stopping us. And I have 100% conviction we will gap up tomorrow. We either gap neutral and rally, or we will gap up and rally. Look for a bullish day in the market tomorrow. I just want to see here where we came down into 109.38. These days in the market have been very tricky for people. Why? Because we didn't get up and make a new high in the QQQs. Tried to go higher, tried to go higher, failed to do it. Gap down on Friday. Even I was surprised when I saw that. Today we hung on for dear life. Fell all day red, dropped, bounced. But I will tell you that this here, I just want to see this level. Yeah, I mean, we are still strong. There's still nothing wrong with this market at all. We're still holding the uptrend. It is perfect. I know it's hard for people to see. I just want to find the number. 109.48, 109.38, That's it. Look. Does everybody see this? That's here. That's it. I mean. It's obvious because the massive tail today and the bounce into the close with the green body bar. We also have some econ that's significant, a Fed announcement coming out Wednesday. So tomorrow, tomorrow we could rally. It's Tuesday. Even though it's one day before the Fed announcement and then have the blow over the high and the Christmas rally into the end of the year with the Fed announcement. I, I think this is it. I know it's been a very, very tricky time and even I was very surprised when I saw the market gapping down on Friday, but I knew it really didn't change the trend in the chart. I knew we weren't really going anywhere. I didn't think all of a sudden devastation. I was like, oh, mm, because I really didn't want that to happen. It did. Does it matter? No. Why? Market is still along. It's still holding the uptrend. So all in all, I see the area. Everything makes sense. This is why there's multiple levels of support and resistance in a chart. Here was another level of support. The market could have held here, but this would have been the least level of support for the market we didn't do it so here's the next one and i feel very good about this here for the area that i just showed you so look for the market to be neutral tomorrow in the gap or bullish in the gap and then rally into the day target for the market tomorrow if the gap's neutral 113 113 60 114 target for the market if it gaps up we could gap up up here and if we gap up target could even be 114. we'll have to see how we end up this is Melissa Armo with Stock Swish. Have a great night, everyone.